Hey everybody, Steve here. I'm officially at about a rig and a half. There's eight on the bottom and five on top. And I'm getting ready to add three more, but obviously the room is in a state of disarray. The rigs are in the middle of the room right now. And uh, eventually they're going to be going in here when I get the time to figure out how I'm gonna work everything. Right now I got two windows. I got a fan taking the heat out, and the fan bringing cool air in. And the rig's sitting right here. So a rig and a half. Got a couple more cards on tap right there. Three of them. I'm gonna add three more into those spots right there. They're sitting over there. But I wanna overclock them, and that's kind of the purpose of this video, is uh, I wanna overclock them, but I got my SSD with windows on it right there. Because both of these guys are running on USBs uh, with Linux. So uh, what I did was I sourced some parts. Obviously this I had to pay, I think, uh, $39 for. But this baby right here is a refurb. And it cost me $23. So I'm going to use this board. That chip. That power source. This power source was relatively cheap as well. Uh, and then... Uh, stick of RAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a test bench. Anyhow, so it was like $22 and uh, as you can see it is just the bare bone basics. It's got three PCI slots. Uh, so my intent here is go ahead and build this out as a test bench and I'll build a frame and everything like that for it. But really what I want to do is I want to be able to just toss GPUs on here, BIOS flash them here, and then put them on the big rig so that I don't have to mess around with those guys. And my thought is that once this rig gets tucked in there, it'll be even less desirable to try to uh, get to one of those motherboards and uh, and flash the BIOS there. So for 20, 50, under 100 bucks, I got my little test bench platform here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss the CPU on there and toss some RAM in there and give it some power and uh, this has already got Windows and uh, the BIOS Flash software on it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook everything up. And uh, I will be also doing a video on BIOS flashing GPUs. So anyhow, I'm going to get this thing together and uh, I'll give you a status update. All right, so it's been a few minutes and uh, with a little bit of RAM and a CPU and power switch and some other power stuff, we are ready to fire this bad boy up. So, hopefully it's just a matter of pressing the button. It's good so far. As everybody says. All right. All righty, so this is the version of Windows 10 that I have all my BIOS flashing uh, software on. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our first victim. Okay, voila, victim number one. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift this thing back down, put him on the board. My Windows 10 already has the drivers for this guy, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that part, but uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so here's my goal with this test rig. We've got a single GPU running off bare bones minimum over here, and uh, it's putting out 24 mega hashes on Simple Mining OS. And the whole point of doing this was that uh, I could do my overclocking over here and these rigs can continue to work without having to shut them down and try to do the testing off the motherboards over there, which once they get into their final place, which is inside that tent, uh, they'll be much, much harder to get to. So as I get new cards and I want to BIOS flash them and test and diagnose, I want to do it here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if we can't get that 24 any higher. Okay, so with a very simple adjustment, I was able to get us four more. So we're at 28.601. And just in case you didn't know, I don't know whether it ring, I don't know whether it's true of other 580 graphics cards or not, but with this, with the XFX graphic cards, there is a switch right here. These guys are actually dual BIOS. Um, 
and sometimes just throwing the switch uh, will get you four to six more mega hashes. So uh, I'm gonna show you something else here real quick. Okay, so I threw the switch and uh, I went ahead and I've loaded Tech Power Up. G it's called Tech Power Up by GPU-Z. And as you can see, uh, the memory type is Samsung. Uh, the memory type was Samsung um, before I flipped the switch, uh, but just flipping the switch uh, was able to get me from 24 and a half to about 28 and a half. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for now and uh, move on to the next one. All right, gotta say this is my first F XFX with white fins. So let's see how this baby goes. What kind of BIOS memory it's got on him. We'll come around in here and I'll wait for it to fire up. All right, so the memory type on this one is Hynix, which is great because it's very, very easy to flash. But I'm gonna go ahead and fire up Simple Mining OS and uh, see what we're getting out of this thing. Okay, a pre-GPU BIOS changed Hynix uh, has a speed of 22.3, which is exactly uh, what I was expecting. So this white, this white guy here is behaving the exact same way as all those red ones did. So I'm gonna try uh, throwing the switch on the GPU itself, and uh, I'll report back. All right, so after throwing the switch, we're at 22.2-ish, so uh, no gain there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fire up uh, Windows and uh, see what BIOS memory flavor this is. Okay, so after throwing the, or keeping the switch the same, so this is the second switch position. Uh, it's still Hynix, so uh, the same BIOS uh, with the switch thrown in both places. Now I have seen other GPUs where when you throw the switch, one will be Hynix, one will be Micron, or maybe one will be Samsung and one will be Micron. Um, so I just like to do this test with every new GPU just so I know what I'm working with. But I'm gonna throw the switch back into the default position, which, which is the original Hynix, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, BIOS flash this GPU, see if we can't get closer to 29 ish and although it won't be a part of this video uh, be sure to check the description uh, below because I am going to be doing a video uh, exclusively dedicated to BIOS flashing uh, these GPUs this video is really more intended uh, of just kind of showing my way of saving a whole bunch of time uh, by investing a minimal amount of money in this refurbished board and some other parts to make a testing rig so that my main rig could be up and running without interruption. All right, so here we are a few minutes later and we are up 29.185, let's see, 29.2.3 is the highest number I'm seeing right there. So this guy is flashed and ready to go. All right, so f for these XFX RX 580s uh, that don't have any kind of LED lights in them, uh, they are all very, very similar. Uh, they're both uh, BIOS, I believe the Samsung and Samsung. Uh, and just merely switching the BIOS uh, from the default to the uh, other position will take you from 22 to 28 and a half, 28.6, 20.7, wow. So uh, I'm happy with the way this one is. I don't even need to do any uh, more work on this one. So uh, that's the uh, one. And then there's the other two right there. And I got a new power supply down there. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill up that part of the second rig and see if we can't be at uh, four, right around 460 mega hashes. So we'll go ahead and do the legwork and uh, I'll be back. All righty, just wanted to show you the finished product here. We've got uh, two rigs now with uh, eight GPUs. Uh, those are the three that I just added right there. And of course down below, there's eight more. Uh, one of them's hashing at uh, 231 and the other one's hashing at about 227. So uh, all in all, very happy with the way my little test bench performed. I was able to BIOS mod uh, several GPUs uh, without having to interrupt everything that's going on here. So uh, this will eventually be going in the tent and uh, will make it even harder uh, to get access to the motherboards. So uh, just a real convenience to be able to uh, BIOS mod everything over here and then just uh, add them to the rig as necessary. So anyhow, 
that's it for this project. Um, if you liked what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Many more videos to come as I've got a gazillion ideas. I'm going to be building rig number three, which means um, I'm going to start building my own frames. So I'm going to do a video on building my own frames. I'm going to do a video on bias modding. Um, I'm going to do a video on the tent. I'm going to do a video on how I'm cooling the tent with two of those guys. And uh, much, much, much more to come. So uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.